Hey everyone, this is HostExaminer.com. We're going to be doing a quick overview and run through of InMotion web hosting. InMotion is a very popular, highly rated web host. They have very good reliability features, customer service, very good things are uh, said about them. Um, the pricing, okay, it's not expensive, but it's not the cheapest either. So here's their homepage. They have, um, I mean, we're not going to be looking at dedicated servers and this right here. This is like corporate level stuff, but this right here, WordPress and business class. WordPress hosting is the same thing as business class. They just are advertising the fact that you can host WordPress. So let's go ahead and click business class hosting. There's three plans, launch, power, and pro. They have all your typical unlimited stuff like space, bandwidth, email addresses, but they do not, however, allow unlimited websites. The basic plan only allows up to two, and then power is six, and then 25, but most likely you don't even need more than one. So, And you get um, a free domain depending on the plan you purchase. 90 day money back guarantee, so there's nothing to worry about. You can get all your money back if you're not happy. So here's all their features. Let's go ahead and click order now. So here's your plans you can pick from. Obviously, the longer the term length, the cheaper it is. So 24 months in advance is only $5.95, whereas one year in advance is $6.95. So I'm going to do launch 24 months, click continue. And then you can purchase a domain or if you already have one. Like I said, first year, uh, depending on the plan, I think in this case I get um, a free domain. But I'm just going to um, pretend I already have one. But otherwise, uh, go ahead and get your free domain. You get a free domain with this type of plan. Um, you can confirm at checkout. So I'm just going to use one I already have and then click continue then uh, continue again and then what you're going to use this for pictures whatever what coast of the country you live on so you get faster servers and then go ahead and fill it out all this information okay so go ahead and fill out your credit card info you can see the total charge here 142 for two years straight 90 day money back guarantee so like I said nothing to worry about you can get it all right back um, and purchase account Okay, then after you sign up, they're going to send you this registration email with um, a link to click, and it'll, it'll let you set your password for the account. So you click that link, and then it has the login domain uh, ID and domain name, and then you're going to log into AMP. AMP is their account management panel, and then the password you just set. And then you can click right here, cPanel login. And it's going to automatically have your username generated already, um, or you can reset your password. So the password should be the same as AMP, and then the username auto-generate it for cPanel. Click Submit. Okay, there we go. See, for some reason that didn't work, and I had to log in again. So, uh, yeah, that can be confusing, but finally we're into cPanel now. And here's where you get started with everything. Setting up, installing WordPress, making email accounts, addresses, uh, adding domains, subdomains, and if you want all these tutorials on cPanel and click the videos here, the links below for all the tutorials on how to use cPanel and get started um, with setting up your site. If you have any questions, you can go to hostexaminer.com and use our contact form. And uh, one other thing I want to point out is if it doesn't show this, if this is not the page you're seeing, you can also click AMP Home. Sometimes it'll look like this instead, but you can click here, work in your control panel and then that should take you to the login also. So yeah, and then this is cPanel, so to get started, just go ahead and click the videos, and uh, that's about it for InMotion hosting, how it works, signing up. You gotta get the email once you sign up, set your password for AMP, log into AMP, then go to cPanel, log into cPanel, and then you're good to go. Um, you can also use a direct link for cPanel, you don't have to go through AMP all the time, so thanks for watching.